the colored part of your eyes, is called the iris. The color comes from a brown pigment, called melanin. It's the same pigment, that causes skin color. Different eye colors are caused by different amounts of pigment. Brown color. Today, brown is the most common eye color worldwide. Between 55 to 79 percent of people worldwide have brown eyes. Scientists think that long ago, when everyone lived in hot climates, where it was sunny year-round, everyone had brown eyes. Dark irises may have protected their eyes, from being damaged by ultraviolet radiation and bright sunlight. As people moved north, sun damage was less of a problem. Eye color became lighter, which may have made it easier to see better during the cold and dark winters. Dark brown eyes are most common in Africa, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. Light brown eyes are found in West Asia, the Americas, and Europe. Europeans have the widest variety of eye colors. Their eyes range from dark brown to light blue. In general, they have the lightest eye colors. Black eyes Contrary to popular belief, true black eyes do not exist. Some people with a lot of melanin in their eyes might appear to have black eyes depending on the lighting conditions. They are not truly black, but simply very dark brown. A dark iris can certainly be normal if this run in the family. The main cause for concern is to rule out a condition known as aniridia. This condition causes lack of iris development and the iris looks dark when actually it is very small or non-existent. This gives a dark appearance to the eyes because the darkness is actually the space that would normally be the pupil. With no iris tissue, the pupil fills the entire iris space. See a pediatric eye doctor as this can be diagnosed easily. Blue eyes Between 8 and 10 percent of people worldwide have blue eyes. Blue eyes are most common in Europe, especially Scandinavia. People with blue eyes have the same genetic mutation that causes eyes to produce less melanin. The mutation first appeared in a person living in Europe about 10,000 years ago. That individual is a common ancestor of all blue-eyed people today. You might see better at night if you have blue eyes, but you might also have more trouble with glare. Hazel Eyes Approximately 5% of people have hazel eyes. Hazel eyes are uncommon, but can be found throughout the world especially in Europe and the United States. Hazel is a light or yellowish brown color with specks of gold, green, and brown in the center. People with hazel eyes have almost as much melanin as those with brown eyes, but it's mostly around the edge of the iris instead of the center. Green eyes About 2% of people have green eyes. Green eyes are most common in Northern, Central, and Western Europe. About 16% of people with green eyes are of Celtic and Germanic ancestry. The iris contains a pigment called lipochrome and only a little melanin. Amber eyes About 1.5% of people around the world have this rare eye color. Amber eyes are uncommon, but can be found throughout the world. Amber is a golden yellow or coppery color without specks of gold, green, or brown. The iris contains mostly the pigment lipochrome and not much melanin. Amber eyes are a lot more common in dogs, fish, and birds. Gray or silver eyes Less than 1% of people have gray eyes. Gray eyes are very rare. Gray eyes are most common in Northern and Eastern Europe. Scientists think gray eyes have even less melanin than blue eyes. Gray eyes could have a different composition of the stroma that causes the light to scatter differently, which makes them pale. Red or violet eyes. People with albinism are often considered to have violet or red eyes. However, the truth is a little more complicated. 
Albinism is a condition that causes people to have a lack of pigment in their hair, skin, and eyes. Since people with albinism lack pigment in their iris, light can bounce off the back of the eye and exit the eye. The light usually reflects back as red because of the blood vessels at the back of the retina. Eyes can look violet when this red color combines with the bluish color of the iris that results from a lack of melanin, and the aforementioned light scattering effects. In fact, the reason the eyes look red is the same reason you might have red eye in a photograph, which results from light reflecting off the back of the eye and passing back out through the iris. In normal eyes and lighting conditions, light cannot exit the eye like this. Heterochromia This is not a color, but rather a rare eye condition where either one iris is a different color than the other iris or there is a spot in an iris that is an entirely different color than the rest of the iris due to pigmentation differences. It's quite an unusual type of eye coloring that some individuals have, and while many people wear contacts to make their eye color more uniform, I think it's beautiful, and such a rarity should be flaunted.